kimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you guys how to grow corn on the cob but not just how I've shown you before without the husks we're going in the husks tonight they're going to actually keep their husks on it's like the best form of aluminum foil for corn, corn on the cob okay so the first thing we're going to do is these haven't even been washed okay I'm just going to soak these first these are going to get soaked in a large pot of water the whole darn thing now if those bottoms are a little too long and you can't fit them in just break them off and get them in here okay so these are gonna soak for 15 minutes all right put your um, timer on okay so there are my corn so I'm gonna take them out of this water and just place them on a plate for right now All right, we're gonna get rid of this water. All right, so they've been sitting in that water for 15 minutes. Now they've been hanging out here, kind of drying, right? What we need to do is, you can, you can just throw it on here like this if you want to, but you're gonna to wanna to get rid of that corn silk that's on the inside of these bad boys. Now, the key is to keep the husks intact. So you're not gonna pull them all the way off unless they just come off on you. Um, you if you have some ugly looking stuff, you can take it off. Uh, but leave a couple layers of that corn husk on. You're going to gently open this bad boy up, okay? Make sure you have another bowl so that you can discard everything that you need to discard. Be gentle, peel them down where they belong, you know, where they naturally would come off, but don't pull them off. You wanna get right down to where the husks are, or that, sorry, that is corn silk. All right, and you're gonna pull all the way to the end so that you can get everything out, okay? Now, the key here is to pull this corn silk out gently, all right? So get rid of what you can easily. Pull the rest away as best you can. Some of these are gonna stay on there. They're just gonna burn up and char. So if you left those things inside of these um, corns, then you'd have this really charred looking mess and it wouldn't be a nice charred looking mess like how you would do regular corn that's grilled on the barbecue. Okay, so now I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna repeat that with these other two. I don't think you really need to see this, but I'll be back, I guess, when these are done. Okay, now we have somewhat of a mess, don't we? Now, I discarded all the rest of the stuff that I didn't need. Some of the outside layers, they come off automatically. Just roll with it, whatever. Here I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil in a little dish with a basting brush. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on. Now, if you want to, you can baste these with butter, but I think that olive oil works better on the barbecue and then put butter on when you come in. Cool? All right, so this kind of looks like a banana all peeled back, right? Kind of looks scary and crazy. So. We are going to put this olive oil all on. Try to get it way down in there. All right, and you're gonna salt and pepper it. Just quick, quick, quick. All right. You don't have to use pepper if you don't want to, but I like pepper on my corn. Not everyone does. All right, so now you're just going to fold these all back the way they came, <laughs> as best you can. Try and, and go with the smallest layers first so that everything lays back down as true as it possible. So, what you can do now, if this is not actually laying down for you, this looks pretty good, it's gonna be okay. If it's not laying down for you, what you can do is you can put a little piece of, of um, t uh, you know, string, cooking string here, or you can use one of these really cool husks and tie it around just to make sure that this thing stays nice and closed. It uh, cooks your corn the way you want it cooked. All right, so that's a good little trick. Use one of the corn husks, the excess corn husks, to hold that shut. And then you're just gonna repeat the same thing on the other three. So that's what I'm going to do. And I guess you'll see me on the grill when I'm ready to grill. All right, everybody, I'm at the grill now. So my limiting factor on my meal, I'm making corn on the cob and the husks, I'm making that grilled broccoli, and I'm making that vegetable pate chicken burgers on the grill. My limiting factor is my, my corn on the cob and these husks. It's probably gonna take about 15 minutes to be fully cooked, so that's why it's going on now. Ready? On, right onto the direct heat. You're just gonna keep moving those around and turning them. The outside is gonna get nice and charred, but you don't have to worry about that because you're not gonna eat it. So onto the grill they go. I'm actually gonna close up the top and I'm gonna go get my uh, burgers ready in a hot second to put on here.
My broccoli won't take but, I don't know, maybe five minutes, seven minutes, uh, just to get some nice grill marks on. It's already been blanched and uh, we're good to go. All right. Now, don't be alarmed as you're barbecuing your corn in the husks. This is what's gonna happen. The outside's gonna burn. Don't worry about it. It's protecting the inside of that corn. And even when it opens up like this and the rest has burnt away, that corn is actually gonna get nice and charred and it's actually gonna taste very good. If you've never seen my recipe for um, for corn, grilled corn on the cob, not in the husks, go on, check that out and you won't be so scared, okay? We're still waiting, it still has some time to go. I would say it's about halfway done now. So we're just gonna keep that corn on there, keep turning it around, you're gonna be good. Okay, so this is the long haul. I put them on first and they're the last things I'm pulling off. My burgers, my broccoli, everything was done before these, but not too far ahead. I just took the uh, broccoli off right now. So off they come, they're nice and charred. This is what they look like. We're gonna bring them inside and I'm gonna show you what to do with them then. Just take them off, make sure you turn off your grill. Okay, don't be surprised. All right. All right, everybody, our corn looks awesome. Check it out, it doesn't look so awesome, I guess, until you take these off, watch. It's like its own little aluminum foil package, but it's all natural, mommy. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna peel these off, break off that stalk at the end, and if you have extra, I know, right? If you have extra of those hairs, just take a dry, clean silicone brush, one of those basting brushes they have now. It takes off that hair really super easy. So check this one out. This one, a lot of the skin um, burnt off this one. No big deal. Look at those beautiful charred bits. I hope this one ends up being mine. That'd be beautiful. All right, one more. Would you like to try a piece? Would you like to try some? Yeah, sure. We're gonna grab some mm -hmm. butter. I'll be right back. So now we're ready to try these. Mom and I are gonna try. Come on in, mommy. Mm -hmm. Which one would you like? Oh, I could pair this one would be fun. That one? Mm -hmm. That's mom's. We need a, a knife or a fork for your butter. Mm -hmm. Okay. I this one. Okay. Here's the true uh, PS2 resistance of our meal, I think. This is going to be delicious. You can use one of those brushes, too, to base the butter on it. It uh, keeps a nice, even layer. Or you can do like mom, use a fork or a knife, whatever. I want some salt and pepper. Of course, you got salt and pepper. Excuse me for reaching, Mom. Would you like some salt? Mm -hmm. Turn, please. Turn it. Okay, that's too awesome. Pepper? No. And Mom doesn't do pepper. See, I do pepper. But I put some pepper inside those things. Oh my god. This is so good. Is it good? Mm. Is it worth it? So sweet. And so crispy. Mm. Mm. That's good corn. But, excuse me, the key is to use very fresh corn. The corn that looks beautiful at your store in those stalks. Make sure you peel open the top end so you can see if it's fresh or not. Sometimes you'll have some little rotten pieces of corn or some moldy corn even. You never know, you can't tell by the outside, even by the, by the corn silk at the end, you can't tell. Make sure you open up just a little bit of the end and you can tell what's going on. Anyway, this is gorgeous. Mm. Tonight we're having this with the grilled broccoli and the vegetable pate stuffed chicken burgers. Stupid. It's delicious. Yeah? You like it? Mm. Well, that's how you grill corn on the cob in the husk. I hope you try that out. I hope you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. Make sure you check out my mom and her website. It's Ingrid Turner at ingridturnertoday.com. That's my mummy. See how it's going on today. Delicious. And what else? Shout out to Bam Niagara Boxing Club. They're responsible for my fitness. All right, everybody, be champions in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye.